Hi, and welcome back to Words of Power. I'm DJ Banks. I'm a minister of the gospel, and I'm excited to be with you today to talk about Acts 12 and 16. On Words of Power, we talk about scripture by scripture, by the word of God that he has placed on our hearts. Amen. I go before the Lord before I come to be with you, and I ask the Lord, what is he speaking in this hour? And he said to me, keep on knocking. Amen. You can find a blog post with this similar topic on our ministry webpage, eblministriesinternational.org. Follow our blog, Words of Power, at eblministriesinternational.org. On there, you'll find a blog post that says, Keep on Knocking. We have different content out there, so you definitely want to check that out. So take a look at that. And today we're going to delve into this concept of keep on knocking. So in Acts 12 and 16, it says, but Peter kept on knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. So the backdrop in Acts 12, King Herod has Peter arrested and thrown in prison. This is after King Herod has been persecuting James, the brother of John, because he is a Jewish Christian. And the people were glad about the persecution, the Jews rather, were glad about the persecution of the Christians. So King Herod, liking that they enjoyed that, he decides to put Peter in prison. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying for him. My God, we know and we have seen the power of prayer. And we're gonna see that example in this scripture. So the night before King Herod was about to bring Peter to trial, an angel of the Lord appeared and let Peter out of prison. After being let out of prison by the angel, Peter goes to the house of Mary, the mother of John. So he goes there and he's knocking, he's knocking on the door. He's in the outer entrance of this house and he's expecting that they're going to let him in. So verse 13 and 14, it says this, Peter knocked at the outer entrance and a servant named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was overjoyed and she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter is at the door. So she's excited. She forgets to even open the door. They've been praying for Peter. This is an answer to prayer. But in her hesitation, in her in this moment, she runs back to tell those in the house that Peter is here. Amen. And so Peter, I love this. He keeps on knocking. Amen. He keeps on knocking. Meanwhile, in the house, Rhoda is trying to get them to believe that Peter is outside. The people in the house do not believe her. They say that she is out of her mind. How many times have we believed for something and you may have told someone that you're believing because you Maybe you had an unction to tell them. Maybe you just felt like telling them and they don't believe you. They, they don't understand how that's possible. How can, how can this be? You're out of your mind. How can you believe for that? And so Peter is still at the door. Keep on knocking. God is saying to you, beloved, keep on knocking. Don't lose heart. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep knocking for God is with you. He sees you rested in the secret place. He sees you under the shadows of his wings. He sees you in the inner courts that you have entered into to be closer with him. He sees you and he does not mind that in this moment you are hesitating. You are wondering, should I keep knocking? Beloved, God is saying to you today, don't give up, but press into my voice, says the Lord. Press into my anointing. Press into me. I will sit you at the table. I will sit you in the presence of your enemies. I will do what you're asking. You are at the edge of the table. You're getting ready to be seated in this hour. Do not give up, but keep pressing forth. Keep pressing towards the chair where you are sitting and pressing towards the mark of the high calling. And as you are seated in heavenly places, you will be seated at this table in chairs of wood and chairs that are constructed by me, says the Lord. I am making you a perfect seat at the table. I am constructing it and it's not too soon, but it's not the right time. Keep pressing in and the door is being opened for you, my beloved. Keep going, keep pressing. Your hour is at hand. Don't give up. And soon and very soon, they will open up the door for you and it will be at the appointed time. You will not stop believing, but you will keep going forward, 
fresh strength for you, my beloved, fresh seats, fresh anointing, fresh rest in my presence, fresh hats, fresh mantles being placed upon you. And as your book of life is being opened up in the heavens, and as I read to you the words that are to be said in this hour, you will rejoice before your time is at hand. Your time is at hand. Amen. God is a good God. There was a separate prophetic word. You know, this was spontaneous that I wrote that God had given me. Take a look at that at the blog post. Keep on knocking. It'll bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen.